Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. K Suave in the building. K Suave if he's Spanish today. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if, if, he's with, if he's with a Spanish lady, K Suave, you call him K-Suave. I was yesterday. You was last yesterday. night. Was that what you posted? Was that last night that you posted that? Um. I don't, I don't know, because I saw something, hold on, let me, see, I saw something, was it this last night? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was, that, no, was, that, was, that was a while ago. That was some yeah. other shit, that's some other shit. That's bro. some other shit. Last night, yeah, no, nah, I was with one of my little shorties. You was thought saying in New York? Always. Always. How long you been out here for? Really, only, what, what day? Sunday, so only a day. Oh, you've only just, been out yeah, here for 24 hours. I'm about to leave tomorrow, though. Oh, so you already have your little New York, you know, mm-hmm. lined up. I'm about to leave. Do you, you stay know, out here a lot? Mexico, no. Here and there. Here and Honestly, there. I come like probably like, I say like three times a year. Okay. Like twice just to like move around, take care of business. And the other one is like, I guess like in and out, like for a show type shit. But then mm-hmm. I come like the other two times just to like, like I said, handle shit. And I'll be here for like a week. But this is the quickest I've really been here. Like the fastest. Like two days and then gone. What was this trip for? Fashion week and then shit this. And this. <laughs> Fashion week and this. So you've just been chilling. Yeah. I see you've been working on, uh, so we kind of were talking a little bit about the project that you're working on. Um, hit me when you land? Yeah, hit me when you land. I'm, um, I'm a, I was really supposed to drop it for real because I wanted it to be a summer album. Mm-hmm. But I just had to get more shit like finished and actually like roll it out a little bit more better versus the last two albums I dropped. I just dropped it like, and didn't really have like no rollout for it or did anything or even shot visuals for them. Mm-hmm. But versus this one, like I'm actually doing all that shit. Like, so... It's just got to push back a little bit. But I'm going to probably drop that within the next, like, month or two. Oh, uh, so this fall. it's, like, almost done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Either yeah. fall or maybe winter. Maybe winter. So, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what day I'm trying to do. Is it because you, like, learned about, like, the whole rollout process now? Uh, or, did you, or did you, or did, like, just the, the, spur, the, I don't, sporadicness, sporadicness of dropping the last two projects, like, did you realize that, like, oh, maybe I do need, like, a rollout process when it comes to, like, putting out these albums? Yeah and no, like, like yeah and no. I'll just say that yeah and no, like yeah and no. Well, well, what's on either side of that? Like yeah, like yeah. You wish you had some visuals to go along, or um, yeah, that's what it was. It was just that basic. Like I ain't had no videos for. I had like maybe three out of like eighteen songs. Versus this one, it's gonna be like maybe ten more. Like I'm gonna have like probably like. 12, because I'm putting 25 songs on this one. So, yeah, like about 12, 13 visuals. Mm. Like I said, it's just, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still, like I said, because I'm still in the process of still, like, even, I'm saying, getting this shit there yet. Like, with the rollout, like, I'm saying. You're still, still learning, even though you have, like, a ton of projects out, you're still kind of, like, going through, like, the motions of, like, learning about everything. Because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like when it comes to, like, like artists like yourself, right, like, y'all put out a lot of, like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, damn, this is a lot of, you know, a that lot was of projects, that's you know what I'm saying? That's when I was dropping more, like, I dropped, like, right before I dropped, like, the Thought Slayer 2 album, I had dropped, like, three, four different EPs, like, but they yeah. was, like, big EPs, you know, EPs usually, like, maybe six, seven songs, like, mm-hmm. I was having, like, projects on there, it'd be, like, 12, 13 tracks on that motherfucker, like, but I call it an EP, but they got them listed as albums, but those are really EPs, they just, like, big-ass EPs, but I dropped, like, three of those, and then I dropped the album. So 2020, I probably dropped like a good one, two, like, three, four. Three. There's three there. There's probably one down here too. One, oh no, two, no, three. Thoughts Layer Two. Yeah, Thoughts yeah, Layer Two. Saying, one, two, four. three, four. Yeah, yeah. You was so getting all, busy. All, the, all together, because I know with the first, with the Thoughts Layer Two and then the Deluxe, it's like 50 tracks. And then plus those other three EPs, like another. I probably dropped like like 90 songs. Yeah, all all together like 90 songs. Said that was fine for the time though. Yeah, that time. But yeah. versus now, it's like. They be getting on my ass now, like, because I don't be dropping this much. But it's like, because I just been super busy, so it's like, not that I don't want to drop, but mm. it's just be hella shit going on at times, and it's just like, not the right time. Right, because when you first, like, in the pandemic, there's like, you have all this time to just do whatever, and then now it's like, yeah. okay, now you're probably getting pulled in, like, 30 different directions. Like, you know, like, oh, we're going to go to New York for Fashion Week versus, oh, I'm just in the crib working on music because it's COVID, and, you know, not in all places. You can still go out in certain places, mm-hmm. but, like, for the most part, you probably just home. Yeah. Working on shit. Yeah. That's basically how it was, honestly. Yeah. So you wanted this to be a summer album originally? Yeah, I was trying to go for the summer vibe. That's what my uh one of my friends had told me. He told me like because I never really like I said, I didn't even really realize that I never dropped the album. All my albums I really dropped is like in December. 
Mm. So, and I didn't even notice that. And so, I said, I'll go for a summer album. But now that shit out the picture. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be December in. again. Yeah, but I said, it's about to be December again. So, I'm going to try to go for the next one for the summer. Is it still going to be like, have like kind of like summer type songs on records on it too? Or no? Um, I won't really call them summertime songs. I just call them just all around. Okay. Like, you feel me? Like, all around. It sound good any season. So. And then the GLE music thing, that was just something that you just kind of, like, threw up in the air. Yeah, it was just some shit that, like, because right now I got, like, four different, like, EPs or just little side projects that, like, I'd announced that I'm going to be working on. That's one of them. That's when I just announced, like I said, like, a couple of days ago. But then I still got uh, Midnight in Malibu. And some shit called uh, the Blair Witch Project, and then Jelly Music, and then Love Sick, yeah, Love Sick too. So you just be announcing. Shit. I just be announcing shit. And they all be like, "When is all these dropping?" And I mean, they dropping them. I'm a drop. I'm just uh, it's tied up with hella shit right now. You know what I think it is? I think you come up with really cool names for EPs, and you're like, "I'm gonna do this," and then you just say it, and you're like, "Jelly Music, mm -hmm. the Blair Witch Project," and then you're just like. Now, then now you put yourself in the hole where you have to like have fake yeah, have to follow up on it. Yeah, no, I mean it's like I won't really say fake follow up because I'm gonna do them though. Like, cause I I I started recording some, so I got like songs for all those projects. Still, mm, okay. I got shit from. I don't really say how long ago, but I got some shit from. <laughs> but it's it's older, but they not gonna know because it never yeah. got posted on the internet. And it still sound fresh and new, like so. Mm. But I got songs for those projects and everything that and I'm saying aside ones. I just got to actually, like, get this shit done. What I was to drop Hit Me When You Land, and mm -hmm. then, like, a month after, I was going to drop one of them projects, little side projects I was yeah. going to drop like that. So, but I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's, I got shit lined up. I'm going to get it finished. Mm. Hit Me When You Land. Hit Me When You Land. When did you first get the, like, come up with the Thought Slayer thing? Did somebody call you that? Like, I feel like that, that's got to be something that's, like, one of your homies was just like. <sighs> Hell no. Nah. Ain't none of my niggas called me that. I mean, nah, but not, like, you know, not like, gave me like, the name, yo, I wouldn't say. But you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, oh, like. Yeah. No, it was really like, I was sitting down, and um, this is like four years ago, four, like four years ago or some shit. I was just sitting, I was like, all right, I know my rap name, like my main name, okay, Suave. Mm -hmm. It's always a nickname, like my nickname growing up, so it was just like, all right, bet, I made it to my artist name. And I was like, I need like another name, like to go by, like some other shit, mm -hmm. like too. And I sat there. It took me a minute to come up with some shit. But one of some bitch, some bitches I fuck had called me. They just called me Slayer. They was just like, you're such a slayer or some shit like that. And so I just went along with that. And I was just trying to figure out how to even, you know what I'm saying, put shit together. But because at first, bro, I was going through names, bro. It was like some corny shit. Like at first I changed it. It was like I had one that was like the unknown god. Niggas was like, <laughs> that shit suck. I'm like, yeah, that shit is kind of weak. And I had like some other one. I can't think of it though, but. That's the main one I remember, though, because that shit was funny as fuck. My bro was telling me, like, do you even know what that means? He started looking it up and everything, and it's like some, like, demonic shit or something. I don't oh, know. Bro. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, we ain't using that. And so then I started thinking about some bitches called me some Slayer, like, the other day or some shit. And so I just started going with that, and then thought just popped in my head. Sound good, look good. Went with it. The unknown God is crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, the unknown God, that's it, yeah. Fuck that. I think it's like when you like actually try to sit down and think about shit. It's like you never are able to come up with everything, anything. Like it just like some, it just ha has to happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's how it happened. I'm, I'm low key. I'm geek too. I love it. It's a name. That's my shit. And it worked out for you. That's my name. It was it was cool because like you know something that I saw that you were tweeting about like because first of all I always said I love rappers who are actually like active on Twitter because mm -hmm. I feel like that's like the best place that we really get to see your personality right. And like there was like this one thing that you were talking about where you're like I really rap about what I do. And you were also talking about like, uh, I blah, blah 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 whatever versus a lot of people talking about crimes and a bunch of other bullshit. When I know the real them. Yeah, I know a lot of people, a lot of motherfuckers, and um, sound good, you know, like I don't know, this shit sound hard, but it just be like, okay, I mean, I don't know, I forgot why I even post that. Cause somebody said some shit, and I had made it like a little post, like, like all right, what shit? Your favorite rapper a liar. Mm. That's how I just be going off the show. I don't know. But yeah, every shit that I do or everything I rap about is just me though. Partying, traveling, spending money, making money, sex. And having fun with it. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, um, I know you know Midwest, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, because I saw Midwest in your comments. Something I, I the reason why I like artists like y'all and like y'all space is because, and why I think that 
what you guys are creating right now in that space is really gonna become like the mainstream, like the new mainstream sound, right? And what I like about it is because like y'all are, you know, we've had so much of what you said where people mm -hmm. are like lying about shit or people just kind of tired of hearing certain, like it, for, there's an audience for everything, right? Yeah. But I feel like- It's, it's, it's hard though, don't get me wrong. Like, and it's like, I wasn't even like, even like, I don't want it to sound like I'm dissing or anything, like, but I mean, it kind of maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe came you take off that it, way it, a little bit, Like, I don't know how, how it might have came off, but like I said, it was just some shit somebody said to me, like, no, that's what it, because like somebody's, your music sound the same, your music sound, you rap about the same shit, that's what it was. Somebody said some shit mm -hmm. like that, and I was like, shit, nigga, I part, I'm rapping about what I do. Yeah. Versus other motherfuckers, okay, yeah, they rapping about shit they don't do. At least I'm rapping about shit I do, that's how I just looked at it, but. But I feel like that type of music where like, you know, rapping about partying and just like enjoying life versus, you know, the the latter of the two is going to become like the more popular sound, like in, especially in this next like year or two. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like every couple of years, like the sound in hip hop and this type of genre changes. And I feel like that's about to just kind of come back around as like the the sound that the music industry gravitates towards, especially as like, you know, dance music and other type of shit becomes, you know, more popular and whatnot, too. I fuck that, with the that's, dance music. You fuck with the dance music? Yeah, I fuck with it. I fuck with all types of music for real, but the dance cool. Like I think about like the dance music, the hyper pop, and like obviously that's different from what y'all make, but Yeah. Uh, I fuck with hyper pop too. That should be getting annoying sometimes though. What do you mean? Just like the soundings, like the little instruments, like the sounds of them, like cause a lot of them would be sound the same for real, like. It's been around for a minute, but last year was like when it really like kind of like started going more crazy for real. But mm -hmm. niggas been there and done that shit already. Like I'm done with that. With like the extra having like the extra sound and shit. Yeah, like I don't really like it for real. like like it's just like I don't know. Maybe it's just I can't hear myself on it anymore for real. Mm. Cause I still hear songs and shit that's new. Like it sound hard though. I just can't. I don't like rapping on them anymore. So what, what do saying. you like now? Just smooth shit. Just, not hyper pop shit. Just <laughs> anything that's fire, not hyper pop. Like, unless it's a good one though. Like, but other than that, regular shit. I think that just comes with you going as an artist too. You know what I'm saying? Like, interest yeah. change and shit like that. Also, especially with the beats that people send you. I'm getting hella shitty ones sometimes. Really? <laughs> hella shitty beats. Email. I got like 14 different emails, and like. They all filled up like with no stores. Probably like each of them got like five thousand beats. It's just hella beats that's sitting in all those emails. Um, the motherfuckers. I don't even know how y'all able to even go through them. I feel like after I a couple emails, I would have been like, I, I can't. Know. I ain't gonna lie, I can't. I usually had like my engineer or some shit. Like I haven't looked through that shit because I can't look through it. I just whatever I hear something I like, I just time to save it. Other than that, I'll try, but. Once I get to hearing too many shitty ones, I just give up and go on my phone and be like, all right, it's time to hit my main producers. Like, all right, the ones that got my number. Like, right, the ones that actually yeah, know that's what, like, what we do. So I, be, I just be posting on the internet like, all right, let me see if I can find some new random people that might be fired. But sometimes it won't turn out the way I want it to be. Mm. Shit, it be. Who are the core producers that you really like to go to? <sighs> I'll give the producer some love. Yeah. Uh, Netta. Um... My boy Dreams. Um at Grand 808. Um who else? I just started fucking with this other producer, Pluto. He he fire. And um That's about it. No, and uh Taro, this other producer, Taro. They're all like kinda like they I ain't gonna say kinda they are like underground, like like producers. they young too, like probably seventeen. 18, like, but they fire though. It's crazy how, like, some of, like, I, I be working with a lot of those type of producers from New York, too, and I don't even be realizing how young they are. And, like, they'll yeah, hit no, me, and I'll be like, they be mad long. they'll yeah. be like, yo, I'm in school right now. I'm like, you're in what? School. <laughs> in God, you know what I'm saying? In school. They're like, I can send you the beat later. I'm like, bro, like, what What do you mean? Like, you know, turn. But they be going crazy. Something oh, else you make I, music, too? Huh? You make music, too? Nah, but, like, when I talk, when, like, producers who have sent me beats for freestyles, uh -huh. who I like, keep relationships with, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like, they'll be like, oh, can I send you a beat pack? I'm like, yeah. And they'll be like, all right, cool, when I go home from school. I'm like, what? I'm going to work on a project, though. I'm going to do, I want to do like a like a DJ drama Khaled style. Mm, one of them. On the radar tape. What type of artist you going to have on? Everything. It's everything. I want to do everything. Next summer. By next summer. Oh, yeah, you already got your shit lined up. See, look. Yeah, I want to do it by next summer. You got I'm, your rollout? 
gonna have a rollout. No, we we're, have a rollout. We're, we're gonna have a rollout. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have vids and everything. Cause like I like the I miss like the posse cut shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like like records with like five people on it. Like I miss seeing shit like that. What's posse cut? Like a posse cut is like I right, so think of like um think of like just having five artists who fuck with each other just on one record with each other. Like, with each oh, other. Okay, like a posse okay. cut. Like, okay, like, like a okay. squad, like a squad, like squad, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's like called? That. Posse cut, yeah. That's what it's called. I never yeah. knew that. Yeah, it's called the posse cut record. That's, that's what fire. Cal, that's what you could categorize Cal's, yeah. rec- Cal's records as that. That's fire, yeah. Like when you look back at like the records that had like Ross, uh, Drake, Hell French, yeah. all on the all same them, record. All on the same song. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's hard. Because I miss shit like that. That's fire. You know, something else I saw you tweeted, you were like, oh, I just be staying inside and watching movies all day. So I wanted to give the people <sighs> case wise. Movie recommendations. <laughs> I be watching a whole bunch of random shit. Like, I don't know. They ain't really... All the new scare movies suck. I watch, like, a lot of old scare movies. And then, like, a couple random new ones. I'm trying to think. I was just, like, last night... You ever seen Creep? I've heard of Creep. I seen some shit. I mean, I watched that uh, last night with the little girl and shit. The little mm-hmm. shorty. I watched that with her. And, um... So that when I say that, Creep, uh... Texas Chainsaw Massacre... Wrong turn. Um, uh, I just went to go uh, see. Not, nope, not even a scary movie, though. Nope. Just, yeah, nope wasn't scary. It was cool, though. I fucked with it, though. That's not a scary movie. Um, it's kind of like people kept comparing really, Jaws. I really watch all oh, my favorite genres just like horror, though. But I couldn't tell by the uh, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. Scream tattoo. Scream. I yeah. used to love Scream. That nigga. It's trash now. I like all the older movies now, but the new one's kind of weak. Yeah, the, wasn't then, the one that came out last year? Was, was that cool. last year or this year? This year. That was this year. Okay, yeah, this year. Um, I'm trying to think. What the fuck do I be watching? I just be watching hella shit. Um, and <sighs> scare movies. That's all I can say. Just horror. Any scare movie. Cause like, when did you get the screen tattoo? Like how shit. When, when we was in, we was out here actually. Yeah. This was last year. Was and this was last year. For real. Yeah. In Jersey. Uh hmm. probably I was like kinda around the time early, like probably like May of last year. Word. Yeah, like May of last year. I got that shit like out here. What made you want to get it? It's my favorite. I used to be That's in every year. That's just Halloween when I was younger. Really? Uh-huh. Every year. Just being following. I know you. I know your folks was mad as shit every year. Yeah, <laughs> my mom. She broke the cycle. I, I don't like. Right, after fucking five straight Halloweens, being him made me mad as fuck. I think that's really when I stopped going trick or treating too. <laughs> when your mom tried to get you, when she stopped me, want me to dress up as something else. She gave me some, some she ugly like, you ass skull face, mask. I'm like, bitch, I don't want this shit. She went to CVS or like fucking <laughs> the dollar store. She's like, ah, right. she's like, I can't have my son walking around. As the same character for five years. Five years. Yeah, I fuck with screen though. Like I said, the new one's trash though, but old one's fire. The TV show was fire. I like the TV show. The TV show was good too. Yeah. They need to come out with a new season with that too. Actually, I think they got like two. It was like two or three two, seasons two, on two MTV. Or three. That's what I'm saying. I think the one that I the one that I saw in the theaters was Screen Four. That was the one with Emma Roberts, where it turns out that she was the killer. That was like the yeah the like not the last one, but that the was one the, before it. That's or, four, or right? The, Three. They got no, six that was four. That was four. That was four. Okay. That was four. Where they turns out that she was a killer, and I remember I was literally, I vividly remember I was sixteen years old. I was in the theater and I was laughing. Like this movie isn't scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. This game, this game movies now don't really be that scary for real anymore. They don't be scary at all. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to really think right now. Like what movies have been really? But I scary. can't really think. You know what I heard was good. The um the the black mask the. You smell the black phone. The black phone. Yeah. yeah. The black phone. I heard that one. I, was, seen I didn't that get to too. see that one. Was it good? I seen that. It was cool. I think it was. I think it was. It wasn't really scary. It's a it's a good movie though to watch. Because mm. it's something that can really happen. Like nigga. Weird shit. I think you should start like a, a scary movie podcast or something. I feel like that's something you'd be really good at. Hell no. Nah. You don't think so? Hell no. Nah. Why? Because you haven't already problems like trying to remember the what, what to watch now? That too. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even gonna even mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not good at even talking. So me I think you're doing pretty podca- good. Me starting a podcast. Nah. I think you're doing pretty good. Today. I feel like all the interviews I've seen of you, like you talk. You know what I'm saying? You decide like you're just like one word answers. You're, just, you're actually engaged in like the conversation. Yeah. But you also have gotten better over time too. 
Yeah. Like now he doesn't want to talk anymore. He's yeah, like yeah. he's like he's like he said he, he's but, like I don't he, I don't want to do this. So the project is uh is on the way. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully by December. No, it's gonna be December. It'll be December. It's gonna be December. If anything, hopefully before December, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be these. December. If not these next couple of months, it's gonna be December for sure. And we're gonna have you rap today, which I'm very excited about. Um, what else you got coming up? What else do people gotta know about? Uh, I only have sex on Wednesdays. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 time out. Why wait, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Why do you only have sex on Wednesdays? It's a hump day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Zelly, you ready, day. bro? <laughs> You ready, bro? I'm dead. So I'm, okay, all right. Why you only have sex on Wednesdays? Because it's something. All right, good. Keep going. What else? Um, one of my favorite snacks are taquitos. Okay. Listen. Okay. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. My favorite color is pink. Why pink? Just. It looks good. Looks good. The color. I don't really wear it, though. I was about to say, I just you like, can't dress in all black. Favorite, yeah, it's my favorite color, though. But not to wear, though. Not to wear? Nah. So, sex on Wednesdays. Sex on Wednesdays. Taquitos. Taquitos. Pink. Pink. And Everything makes sense. Scream's your favorite. Well, OG Scream is your favorite. OG. OG yeah. Scream is your favorite. It's the OG Scream. That's not no new one. Not the new one. Not the new one. So, the project, uh, Dece- hopefully by December. Definitely December. Mm-hmm. Definitely December. Um, by this time, y'all seen this, the freestyle is out now, so make sure you go check that out. Um, let the people know where they can follow you at. Anything else you want to let them know, now's the time to do it. This camera right here. Huh? Let them know where they can follow you at, bro. Oh, yeah. The Instagram, Instagram all that Case Five underscore <laughs> one. Twitter. I don't even know my Twitter. It's K-Swap something. Case Swap something. Case Swap. Now I got to look. I really don't be on that shit for real. I'll pop it up, too. Hold on. You do, what do you mean you do be on that shit? You be tweeting. Recently, but not really, though. Twitter is KSwab97. That's what it is. KSwab97. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so go follow him on Instagram. Go follow him on Twitter. New project on the way. Make sure you tune in. Freestyle out now. Make sure you tune in. Um, go show the man some love. Go show the man some support. If you go to visit him, make sure you bring him some taquitos. Please. Taquitos. And until next time, KSwab on the radar. My guy, Peace. much love. Boom. <laughs>